What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 62 and we start today's episode off by starting the new season with West Bromwich Albion and of course the transfer market is now open and it's a time to sign new players and we've been given a budget of 13 million pounds and 60 grand on a wage budget and I was like really is that it i mean seriously last year you know we finished sixth and the year before that we finished sixth and i think last season's budget was 12 million pounds so it's to, to, but to the best of my memory it's gone up by 1 million pounds which is nice it's good to have a little bit more money but really 13 million i would have expected a bit more from the board you know we won the capital one cup last year we were only a few points off the champions league places Personally speaking, I would have preferred to get to around 20 million, but that's just how it is. The board only gave us 13, and we'll have to work with that and do our best. But uh, the first thing we're doing is promoting two of our academy products, Ashley Bentley and Billy Rowell. Bentley looks like a right back. Rowell looks like a central midfielder. Uh, Josh Franks and Billy Akinfen will look quite poor, so I might go and release them. And the other player is only 15, so we can't promote him just yet. But as you'll see as well, we did indeed get two players arriving on pre-contract so where they were Ricardo Rodriguez the Swiss left back and also Andre Carrillo the Peruvian winger um gotta say I'm very happy with both of them Rodriguez 23 82 uh, overall and Andre Carrillo is 25 years old and 79 overall both players look very decent indeed. I'm happy with those pre-contracts. I know uh, Rodriguez is on really high wages at 95 grand a week, but I think those two players look very, very good indeed. And for free, you're not going to say no to those. So I'm happy with those two signings. And that gives us a bit more class right from the off. And that's even before we started using the budget. But uh, anyway, I uh, found this guy on the loan list, uh, Docal Saiz of uh, Barcelona in Spain. A new gen looks quite good. And also we went in for a right back, of course. As I did say, uh, one of my main targets was going to be DeAndre Yedlin. Uh, the American is currently 79 overall and only 22 years old. He's, of course, American, which means I don't need to scout him. And he looks unbelievably good. If you remember, we played a game at White Hart Lane last season and the guy just tore me to pieces. He's so goddamn quick and I'd love to sign him. But I don't think we'll be able to get Hold of him because he is Pochettino's first choice right back and I really think that a 22 year old with so much potential and a really good overall right now I can't see us getting him but um, anyway here is the squad uh, we've got right now obviously with Rodriguez and Carrillo coming in this is how the squad looks to begin with so I thought I'd show you that just to just basically show you what I'm going to be planning on what to do and uh, where the squad looks weak in but uh, Spurs did indeed uh, reject the bid for Yedlin which is not a real surprise so we'll have to go back in for him which we do so but I should say straight away don't be surprised surprised if we can't pull this deal off because he does look as though it'll cost us a bit too much money and um it looks as though Pochettino won't let go of the guy. But uh, Barcelona did indeed accept a loan offer for one of their young wingers. But as I looked at this, I was about to accept it and I quickly went to stall because I realised that he's on 40 grand a week. 40 grand a week for that 20 year old. It looks quite good, don't get me wrong, but really 40 grand a week for a player or probably like a third, fourth choice winger? I don't think so. But um, anyway, I am indeed also asked for after a new centre back as well. Uh, Karim Rakik, uh, City said it accepts a £6 million bid for the young centre back. But the problem with Rakik is that, personally speaking, we've already tried buying good young players with um, with what we presume is high potential before, particularly defenders, and they're not working. Abita, Jenkinson, uh, Nastasic, none of those players have been growing despite the fact they're getting a lot of games. So I'm not too sure about Rakik. Uh, Mauricio as well from Sporting. I used him in my season series, and he was really good. So I think I might go for Mauricio. We have put a bid in, and we'll wait and see what they say. Also, Nathaniel Klein from Southampton as well. As I said, I'm looking at three right back targets really in Klein, Walker and Yedlin and I think there was another one I was looking for as well but those three are the main ones anyway and we'll see what we can do. But uh, here are our two academy products. Uh, the first one, Billy Rao. Uh, he looks relatively decent for a 16-year-old, 64 overall, uh, so not too bad for his age. And short past 71 already, very nice to see indeed. And you'll see as well, Ashley Bentley also accepted his contract. This guy is a right back, 65 overall at 16. Decent stats, six, uh, 76 marking, 78 uh, sliding and 73 stand tackle. Very decent aggression, 73. Very decent for a 16-year-old uh, right back, but as you would have seen, he's very slow. 
And that is one of the problems that you guys probably know as well. When you promote players through your academy, they turn out to be usually quite slow, which is annoying. But uh, anyway, Sporting wanted £5.5 .5 million for Mauricio. So we go ahead and put in a new bid for the Brazilian centre-back. I think this guy could be a good signing for us. I don't know what his overall is so far. I think it's 77 or 78. But we put in a new bid of, I think it was £5 million plus, uh, plus Tyler Blackett. And we'll wait and see what Sporting say. Because that will be under his valuation. And he did look pretty good when I used him on uh, on, uh, on seasons, I should say. And uh, City, again, what is £6 million for Rakik, which I don't mind paying. But the thing with Rakik is, I don't know what his value is. I don't know what his overall is right now. I'm pretty sure he starts off at like 72, 73 overall. And if he's still at that overall and isn't going to grow, then it will just be like another Nastasic, another Abita, another Jenkinson. It will feel like a bit of a waste of money to buy a player with potential, but he just won't hit it. But, um... Anyway, following that, we put in a new bid for Klein of £3.5 million pounds plus a Gamboa. And we also went back in for DeAndre Yedlin. I, I really do want this guy. I really, really do want him. But I just, I can't see Spurs letting go of the guy. Because they don't want Gamboa. They're obviously not going to want Jenkinson either. And, you know, there's no point in having three right backs. So I can't see us getting him. We put a straight bid of £6 million pounds in. We'll wait and see what Pochettino says. But I'm, I'm imagining they're looking for like £9 million pound plus. Which, with our budget on £13 million we can't really afford to do that but uh, City did accept a 4.5 million pound bid for Rakik so we do go and offer him a contract but Mauricio is the one I'd prefer to sign but we'll have to wait and see what happens and also uh, transfer came in for Berahino uh, Sassuolo of Italy wanted to take our young striker and we just straight up said no we're not letting go of the guy and also as well uh, Sporting accepted a bid of 5 million pounds plus Tyler Blackett and we go ahead and offer him a contract again I, I would prefer Mauricio even though Rakik probably has a lot more potential because I know Mauricio is going to have a good starting base and that's the most important thing for me. It's all well and good getting players with potential but if they're not going to uh, reach it then there's no real point. But uh, we put in a new bid for uh, Kyle Walker. They said they wanted £15 million pounds for the right back and I was like I don't think so somehow. We offered £2 million pounds plus Gamboa and we'll wait and see what they say. Uh, Southampton wanted £5 million pounds plus Gamboa for Nathaniel Klein which doesn't sound too bad but I don't think Klein's going to be that much better than Gamboa anyway. He's probably one or two overalls better but not too much better so not too sure I want to do that but as you'll see here as well, a transfer offer came in for our super sub, Victor Anichebe. Freiburg wanted him for £3.8 million. I say give us six or you're not taking him. And we'll wait and see what the German sides say. Uh, following that as well, Rakik did indeed accept his contract. So I stalled it just for the time being. I was waiting for Mauricio as uh, Spurs came back to us and said they wanted £9.5 million for Yedlin. I stalled it for the time being because I was waiting for Mauricio. And I'm not too sure. I'd prefer to get Mauricio for 500 grand more because, as I said, I know he'll have a better starting overall but we'll have to wait and see but uh, following that I requested some funds from the board I asked for three million pounds I said if we do that we'll reach the Europa League semi-finals and as you'll see they did indeed say yes to that, um, that uh, request and also uh, Mauricio declined his contract so um, uh, sorry they said 2.8 million pounds that's almost three million and uh, Mauricio did indeed decline his contract so I was looking at Rakik and I was thinking I just I really don't know you know I mean I I, I would like Rakik because I know he's going to have good potential but personally speaking you know I, I I've said it a few times now, haven't I? I must be going on like a broken record. I know Mauricio is going to have a better overall, and I'm just so sick of players not growing this year. You know, I'm re I really am. You know, Nastasic has just, you know, he's played almost every single game and hasn't grown a single rating. And that's the point. If we sign Rakik, it's going to be a gamble. You know, it really is, because he's probably in the low 70s and, you know, not cut out just yet to go into the first team, whereas I know Mauricio would be. But um, following that, we saw some brilliant news. Spurs accepted a two million pound deal plus Gamboa for Walker, and I thought that's pretty goddamn decent because I know Walker's going to have a higher overall, and he's probably got a bit of potential to grow as well. He's only 26 years old, uh, uh, one year older than Gamboa, so I think that could be a good deal for us. And it's <laughs> it's still such a shame because I really do want to get hold of DeAndre Yedlin. You know, I really, really do, but it's just a bit too expensive for us. And personally speaking, with a 13 million pound budget to spend 9.5 million on a right back I don't know it's just probably not beneficial for us really there are more areas we should look into strengthen but uh, Reading wanted to take Craig Dawson on a season long loan I stalled it for the time being because I was waiting to see whether we would pull off another centre back signing and also Freiburg said they weren't going to go higher than 3.8 million pound for an each of so I just said you know give us 5 million and you can take him because I think we could replace him for 5 million but I can't see it happening uh, Southampton then accepted a 4.25 million pound deal plus Gamboa for Klein and Mauricio did indeed accept his contract so I did indeed decide to choose Mauricio 
Mauricio ahead of Rakik. And, you know, for all the reasons and many more I said just a minute ago, I think he's going to be okay for us. You know, we could still get Rakik anyway because we've got a bit of budget, a bit of money left over. But, you know, personally speaking, Mauricio is a 77 overall, so he is the same rating as Nasazic, so he can battle it out there. He looks very, very strong indeed, jumping 88. Gotta love that on a centre back who's already six foot one. And I think that's a good signing, personally. I know, I know you're probably going to comment right now and say, oh my god, Rakik has more potential. But, you know, if a player's not going to grow, I really, really don't want to sign him. And it's a gamble, you know. I'd rather get someone who I know is already good enough for the first team. But uh, still, Walker has indeed accepted his contract, which means we can go ahead and sign him. For £2 million plus Gamboa, again, Gamboa wasn't bad for us at all, but I was never convinced, uh, convinced by him defensively. And I know Walker's not the best defensive uh, right back either, but personally speaking, as you'll see as overall. He is four ratings higher than Gamboa. He's got the pace, he's got good offensive stats, good defensive stats himself, and I'm very, very happy with that deal, personally. I know that we didn't exactly need a right back, you know, it wasn't essential, but it's, it, it's an improvement on the two we already had, and that's the most important thing. Plus a new English player as well, which is always good for me, because I tend to like to sign English players, but, um, you know, for, I, I tend to like to sign players of the same country uh, as, as the club is, but I haven't really done that in this series, because they've been overpriced. But uh, anyway, Freiburg just wouldn't go back in for an each of so I said don't worry about it. <clears throat> And also we put a new bid for Kareem Rakit because, as I said, we could still possibly afford this guy, you know, and not have to worry about, you know, um, whether we made the right deal or not. Because, you know, it, it seems as though he is valued at around £6 million. We could probably get him for around 4 to 4.5 uh, minimum. But that's not too bad. And, you know, he could be a good centre-back to grow. But I don't know, personally, we'll have to wait and see. It seems as though we'll be wasting our money, really, by Mauricio and Rakik. I should just, uh, you know, say we've done the right business and, uh, you know, leave it at just signing Mauricio. But uh, still, following that, we had the first of three preseason friendlies. You'll see two of them in this episode. Of course, as per usual, we simulate them. Uh, the first one was against Levante. Um, as per usual as well, uh, when I simulate the games and when I play the three preseason friendlies, I always do go ahead and play a weak side just because players tend to get injured in preseason friendlies and simulated games quite often. That's why I like to uh, play a backup side. And of course, it does give uh, players, fringe players, some chance to show you what they can do and possibly put them in a shop window for loan or transfer. But as you'll see as well, we put a new bid for a keek as City didn't want to take Jody and Lescott back to the Etihad Stadium. So we offer £1 million plus Dawson. Just cheap bids, really. And we'll wait until they say. Also, Jason Davidson is going to join Rotherham on loan. That's okay. The Australian left back has done relatively well ever, ever since we used them. But of course, we already have a beta and we've also got uh, Creswell and Rodriguez coming in now. So we don't need four left backs. He'll go on loan to Rotherham for a bit and we'll see how he does. And also the second preseason friendly was indeed against uh, Real Batiste. As you'll see, Dawson got an injury just six minutes in. As I said, they tend to happen quite easily, uh, injuries in uh, preseason friendlies. And we end up losing this game to the Spanish side by a goal to nil. So quite poor, but again, worth mentioning, all the players were, you know, backup fringe players. So there you go. And the last thing you'll see is we put a new bid in for a Kareem Rakik. And uh, that is going to end the episode there. So as always, a big thank you for watching the video, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like it is much appreciated and of course it really does help my channel out there's going to be another episode of career mode tonight so two episodes of career mode in one day so if you could leave a like for a double episode then please do so and um yeah thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you for the next episode of career mode later on tonight